Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. I hope you're all doing well. Today's pick a card reading is going to be all about who will you marry, who is your future spouse. So we are basically going to take a look at details about their personality, about how the marriage is going to feel like. Um, maybe we can pick up some details about their looks. Also, we're going to see some astrodices with their star sign, a number that might be relevant, some initials, and also at the end of each reading, we're going to see when are you going to meet your future spouse by taking a look at some oracle cards. So make sure you stick and until the very end of your reading for those details. As always, we have three piles for you to choose from. This is pile number one with the Rose Quartz Crystal. Pile number two with the Clear Quartz Crystal. And pile number three with the Green Fluoride Crystal. So choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and after you're done choosing, you can skip ahead to your reading using the timestamps down below. But before we get started, please take a quick moment to hit like and also to subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future. And if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using today, you're going to find all the links in the description box below so you can check them out. And with that being said, I'll see you on your reading. Hello my beautiful pal number one, welcome to everyone who chose the Rose Quartz Crystal. So let's take a look at what we have about who will you marry, who is your future spouse. So my dear pal number one, you were drawn to the Four of Chalices, which is the Four of Cups. And in this beautiful image, we can see how, you know, this person is patiently waiting at the door for this other person to pay attention to them. And the Four of Cups also is a representative of someone expressing their feelings, like confessing, doing a romantic gesture. So I'm sensing that this person that is your future spouse is a romantic at, uh, in, you know, at their heart in nature. This is a person that uh, loves to like shower you with compliments, with romantic gestures, spoil you, uh, be very affectionate towards you. This is a person that might be a water sign or they might have it in their chart uh, very strongly. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, or it's like I'm sensing a lot of water energies in them, which makes them quite sensitive, makes them quite affectionate and empathic towards you. And I'm sensing that this is a person that's very, very patient. Okay, so your future spouse uh, might have like uh, feelings for you, like start developing feelings for you before you will develop feelings for them, which will put them in a position to wait for you or they're going to meet you at a time when you maybe are engaged in another relationship or you are busy with other priorities in your life and that will put them in a position to wait but this is the thing that I'm sensing that your future spouse is a person that will feel like it's worth it. It, it will have like that patience. Uh, not only just like uh, in their personality to be patient and calm and but even when it comes to pursuing you I'm sensing that this person will be really really into you yeah like your future spouse will be so interested in you they will have like this beautiful love for you and that love will make them like uh, have the capacity to be patient, to wait if you are dealing with something else in your life and be understanding towards you be kind and gentle and um, allow things to you know develop slowly at their own pace not rushing anything not putting any pressure on you so yeah this is what i'm picking up from your first card now let's take a look at your tarot cards and see um more details about who will you marry who is your future spouse Okay, so we have the Page of Cups and also we have the world that uh, slowly like f um, were falling from the deck. So I decided to keep them. Um, also, we have like another set of tarot cards later on, but this is the first one. And we're going to take a look at what we have from here. Four of Swords. And let's pick up another one. We have the Fool. All right. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense what I'm seeing here for you. Because pal number one, I did say that you're going to meet your future spouse at a time where I feel like you're going to be either like going through some sort of change, like big transition, um, 
or a situation where you have to focus on something else, focus on maybe healing. So I'm going to give a few examples in here because there's a lot of messages coming through my mind right now. So uh, first example could be that, you know, with the world card that shows um, the end of a cycle and the start of a new one, but it's a natural in a natural way. It happens because it was meant to happen that way. So it might be that you're going to have a relationship ending at that time, you know, uh, a romantic relationship or maybe, you know, a transition from a job, you know, at that time. But let's uh, focus on the relationship uh, part. So let's say you ended a relationship and slowly it faded away, like it died slowly, you know, the the love, the, um, the affection, the connection, and uh, naturally a new cycle will open up, which is going to be the chapter you're going to meet your uh, future spouse. But before that, I feel like you're going to enter a time in your life where you're going to want to heal. You want, uh, you're going to want to really focus on yourself, maybe focus on growth, on healing, on um, processing everything that went through, right? With the Four of Swords, this is a card of stagnation, a card of like stillness. So like having to take a break. So here, as we can see, you're going to be focusing on maybe like cups represent emotions, maybe on healing your, you emotionally, on processing all the feelings that you still have from this past relationship, which is so healthy and normal to do. And I feel like this person that is your future spouse will acknowledge those things and will be mature enough and uh, patient enough and, and will love you enough to understand that you need time. The Four of Swords represent a break, you know, a time that you need to be on your own. So they're going to understand this for you. And um, I'm sensing that they will not, um, you know, like stop pursuing you. They will not lose interest because of that. They will be there waiting patiently for you to finally heal and they will uh, confess their feelings for you. They will still be there to also with the page of cups. I'm sensing that they will be there in that time to uh, make you laugh, to uh, lift up your mood, lift up your energy. The page of cups represents a, a very like goofy, funny, entertaining kind of energy. So I'm sensing that they will do anything that uh, they can in order to make you smile, to make you your day brighter. Uh, and they will be there ready to start fresh. They will be 100% ready to open up, you know, uh, a new chapter. The full represents a new start, like the new journey, you know, that is starting. And I feel like you will uh, feel so safe within you know, this connection that you're going to have when you're going to meet your future spouse, um, that you're going to be able to really uh, embrace this new connection, uh, even though it, it's going to seem scary because you already went through maybe a connection that didn't end maybe as you wished, uh, you know, like it, it went, you know, down and, and the connection faded away and maybe a person that uh, you're going to be with or like, uh, you know, a romantic partner you, you will have is going to leave some scars maybe. And always it's a bit of scary thing to, you know, uh, jump into the unknown once again. It feels like a leap of faith, but you will feel called to do so with this person, okay? With your future spouse and you will feel safe to embrace this new chapter. But again, it doesn't necessarily have to resonate with ending a relationship, could be ending a job, could be the end of a cycle, like leaving summer and then like moving somewhere else and start a new life. I see that this is here a big strong energy about ending something into your life and then going through a process of healing, of um, like processing everything, um, like a time where you're going to be a bit more still and then you're going to gather all your power and all your energy and recharge yourself in order to start fresh and embrace this marriage uh, um, like with wide open arms and an open heart and you're going to feel ready for a new adventure and this is going to feel like the start of a new adventure. It's going to feel very light hearted. You're going to uh, really feel safe with this person and they're going to make you laugh a lot. I'm sensing this is a very like um entertaining person someone who is able to like be funny but also like not be scared to make a f uh, to make fool out of themselves uh, you know like they don't hold this seriousness like uh or importance over how they are going to look you know in, in, in the face of others like they just care about having a good time enjoying the moment uh, I, i'm sensing a very chill carefree energy about them 
uh, someone who is like very chill to be around and funny to be around. And there's going to be a lot of goofy, you know, like banter uh, type of dynamic within your connection. But yeah, let's take a look at some other tarot cards, at the second set of tarot cards and see more about who will you marry, who is your future spouse. So we have the Wheel of Fortune and we also have the Five of Wands. I'm putting the word card like this, by the way, just because I need to cover the card uh, because of YouTube rules. Let's pick up another one. For pound number one, who will you marry? We have the hero fan. Oh, I love this for you. So, um, further from what I look in your tarot cards is that I see that's going to be uh, a lot of conflict, you know, here with this five of wands, maybe regarding this new marriage, because, because maybe it's going to feel like too fast, maybe for your family members, maybe for some people in your life, they're, maybe they don't have the best intentions, you know, people that are going to be jealous over this relationship, this beautiful connection that is coming like so effortlessly and so like, everything is going to happen quite fast. I'm sensing that you're going to open up to this person very soon. And there's going to be like, the marriage is going to probably like happen really fast in the relationship with the hero fan. I do see that this is a person that's ready to commit, a person that might be more mature, you know, like maybe in age, but just in general, a person that's ready to commit, a person that, you know, um, it could be very religious or like more towards the spiritual side, you know, a person that has a very clear set of values of um, principles, you know, that they really cherish and they live their life according to um the hero fan represents a card of like something that's official like even marriage you know because it represents like uh, a religious ceremony um so i'm sensing like this person really really wants so badly to get married to you this is what they want to start a family maybe to like build a life together to have a serious relationship or have a serious marriage with you okay like long-term commitment this is what they're looking for and i'm sensing that you're gonna feel so so lucky to meet this person like especially at a time like this as i said they're going to be there for you and you're gonna feel so lucky to find such a nice kind gentle soul and uh, the wheel of fortune represents like good luck you're gonna feel lucky you're gonna feel grateful and that's what's going to give you you know this courage to take this leap of faith uh, okay and to really step into the unknown but i feel like some people are going to try to mess around with this connection and this marriage and there's going to be some conflicts uh you're probably gonna have to fight you know through um as I can see here like some people that don't have the best intentions will try to maybe come um into your mind like try to influence you or try to tell you things or like try to tell your future spouse things about you like really trying to separate you or like trying to um create discord and um yeah bring negativity into your relationship into your marriage and i feel like you know i i feel like not none of you will let that happen but it's go just going to be a thing that you're gonna have to fight through um okay but i as i can see here you're going to be like i don't care about uh what you're saying uh it's just background noise i'm going to keep going um and i feel like both of you will know you know it's gonna be that feeling when you know you know that this is the right person let's see some oracles so we have orphaned um with this card i'm sensing that you know pal number one is going to be a time where you really gonna feel lonely as i said like here you're probably gonna feel maybe a, a, uh, you're gonna be left by that particular partner you know at that time or you're going to feel like you don't have a you find you don't find your place in the world in life right now or you're going to have like some sort of uh crisis you know where you you're going to have some really mixed feelings and not maybe find your way maybe career wise maybe not knowing where your path is going to take you and that's why you're going to take this time to really focus on yourself focus on you know like where sh where you should take your next step towards but then this person will appear into your life okay your future spouse and it's going to be like a clear signal for you like you will know as i said you're gonna feel it in your bones and you're going to be like yes this is the person i want to be with and i feel like 
um, they will propose to you, as I said, like quite quickly and you will accept and there's this journey that's going to start like so refreshing, so like a bit maybe scary but the fool doesn't represent a scary like a scared energy it, it's something that seems like a leap of faith like something that you step into the unknown but with that being said the fool is feeling carefree the fool is feeling like the universe holds their back and they are going to be protected no matter what and they don't care they are just going to enjoy this journey and this is how you're gonna feel with this marriage okay because as i said you're gonna feel really safe with this person maybe like these conflicts and these people trying to mess around with your connection is going to make you feel really upset and uh alone maybe because you're not going to have the support maybe of some people that you really care about right but as i said you will deeply known within yourself let's see more details oh we have religious factors and i did say that this person is a more like a religious person or like a spiritual oriented person or it could be now i know i'm picking up another message that it could be for some of you in panel number one that maybe these people could be your family members that are going to interfere with this marriage or this connection because of the differences in religion maybe it's going to be a person that is of another religion or a different belief or from a different culture okay and this is going to influence this path you know this journey or the way you know you are going to be supported by certain people in your life but i see that that's not gonna be that's gonna be like a bit of a bump but that's not gonna be what um you know defines the marriage and i see here that even though you're gonna feel a bit upset you know for not having these people like uh having your back and support you but you're still going to like be a bit more carefree and like uh not care about their opinion and the fool is like very free spirit so i see you being a free spirit and really stepping into this journey and enjoying it okay no matter what okay we have true love and pay attention to the red flags the uh, signs are cautioning you so i feel like these people are just going to be like uh, pay attention to certain red flags uh, this could be like some red flags maybe something that has to do with religion as i said uh you know in maybe different cultures di different upbringings uh, backgrounds but this is going to feel like a true love for you this is the romance of a lifetime it's going to be you know like it, it sounds very cheesy but it's going to be like you against you know the world or you against uh, some family like really like a romance movie <laughs> okay um and this person maybe you know like will also wait patiently for you to figure out things to like be sure that this is what you want uh you're gonna feel like this is true love and that's what's gonna give you the courage it's gonna feel like the romance of a lifetime but i feel like some people will try to attention you over some red flags at least this is how they're gonna perceive them but i feel like this person will love you truly we have true love so this person will definitely love you with all they have uh they will be there for you they will um try to make you like feel good you know feel protected feel weighted you know like not pressure in any way um feel free to choose you know to do whatever it feels right for you let's take a look at another oracle card okay i'm going to keep the card that flipped and it says keys on a ring many options decision yes unconventional string along one night stand so it might feel like you know that you you're going to feel like you have more than just one option and one option could be like choosing to be with this person and the other option would be like what these other people are trying to tell you or like trying to listen to the other people telling you and you're gonna have to decide between like believing these people and listening to what they're saying or to to trust your gut feeling to trust what you feel like doing um so it's going to be a bit of a confusion but as i said they're going to wait you patiently um maybe it's going to start you know as a one night stand you know like maybe this uh, future spouse of yours will be like a person that you're going to feel really drawn to and have like uh like a one night thing and then 
feel like wait but i'm not ready actually for a relationship and you're gonna pull back and they're going to be just there waiting for you patiently because for them it's not just when i stand for them it's like they are looking for a long-term commitment they feel like a person that is really like a family person a person that cares about the home like cares about having a family and is uh really looking for a serious relationship okay um but yeah i do see that eventually you know you, you're going to go through this confusion but you will choose to go uh you know with the connection with the marriage now let's take a look at when you're gonna meet your future spouse pal number one when are you gonna meet your future spouse mm, okay let's see i felt like one was about to flip but no okay we have perfect timing okay so it's like spirit is saying that this person will arrive into your life at a perfect timing which makes a lot of sense because it's going to be at a time where you and you know you're gonna need it maybe or it's gonna come at a time where you're gonna feel like your luck has been turned uh, in your favor you're gonna feel lucky and grateful for having this person that's gonna be uh you know at your side for helping you and supporting you through this hard time of maybe um you know having to deal with something that it's ended in your life maybe a relationship maybe a, a, re, a, re, a relationship or a career yeah a job or a lifestyle you know like living somewhere but let's see more of a clear message maybe okay we have to take action so uh we have just like spirits saying that it's going to be a, a perfect timing but yeah it's gonna be like an opportunity arriving in your life at a perfect timing but you have to take action and not let this opportunity um you know go away it's like not that this person will go anywhere because they're just gonna be there waiting for you is their feelings for you are gonna be real and they're gonna be there for you but it's just that taking action could be not believing you know like uh the outside world or like people trying to confuse you people trying to uh, influence you and to take action based on you know your feelings based on your what your intuition is telling you and the the fool is like a card of taking that the initiative taking that first step so spirit saying like to take action you know because it's going to be uh something that's going to bring a lot of happiness for you and it's something that it was meant to happen it's something that's meant for you with the world card with perfect timing okay so divine timing is at work now let's pick up some astrodices and see their star sign and number that might be relevant wow we have taurus and what's interesting is that we have also the hierophant which represents taurus energy right so taurus as i said it's a, a sign of family like uh, a sign of home of um also like you know all about creating uh, a comfortable living providing you know like making sure that they want to have like that home family life uh like in a very comfortable way feeling like they don't miss anything they don't lack anything um okay it's like all about having uh, all that they need but also providing for their loved ones and live that type of beautiful family life we also have number 11 which it represents a gate you know like 11 11 a gate so again that message of a new beginning of a new stage a chapter transition you know with the world all right now let's pick up some initials for your pal number one and see what we have about your future spouse and let's see now so i'm gonna gather all and then flip them so we have i l e a we have double l so twice represented which means it's stronger we have g we have a more rare one a q okay we have v r a once again n e again oh e three times already strongly represented 
A as well, very strongly represented. We have I, C, oops. So we have C, R, and last one is T. Okay, so this was everything that I have for you, my beautiful pal number one. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful pal number two. Welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the clear quartz crystal. So let's take a look at who will you marry? Who is your future spouse? My dears, you were drawn to the four of pentacles card. And what I'm picking up from this card is that this is a person that finds it hard to maybe allow other people to let in you uh, to like come inside in their heart to open up emotionally to communicate you know like about their feelings or to just be vulnerable and open up i feel like it's just that they are more of a cautious person more skeptical maybe they they've had certain experiences that it really like um you know led them to feel that way see like uh, this person is just like sitting at their door and is like um yeah like trying to let to come inside and they are just being a bit skeptical before letting them in like really trying to get to know them i feel like this is a person that really values their intimacy their private life their you know they they are just holding their feelings more uh hidden you know they're not very expressive or not they're not very open but i feel like once you get to get to gain their trust this is someone that is there for the long term this is a person you can rely on um they are looking for commitment they're looking for something serious and that's why i feel like they are a bit more uh skeptical because they just want to make sure that once you're in you're in for good you know um also this shows that this person is really in like interested in their home life as well like a lot there might be a homebody a person that loves spending time at home inwards you know indoors uh, a person that um like really cares about creating a comfort creating a beautiful environment in their home to make sure that this is like their happy place their you know place of recharge uh that's why they really love maybe spending time at home and to be around their home really makes them feel like they're recharging their batteries um and that's why they put in a lot of effort i feel like um and maybe even spending a lot of money you know like into creating uh, the perfect environment in their home to make sure they feel you know their best in there because that's where they're going to spend the most of their time or it's like the most important place for them so this person might not be really up for like, like it's not like they don't like going out but i feel like it's more about a person that loves in to stay indoors like maybe even for dates you know i feel like they're going to prefer to have more like home comfortable like cozy dates like uh watching a movie um you know ordering food uh, in and just staying in uh might be an introvert you know this person because as we can see there's a lot of um energies and messages regarding that so overall i'm sensing also that this is someone that gets very attached you know like that's why they even maybe created this sort of barrier around them and they find it hard to open up because that like this is someone that really gets attached like once they are in as i said they're in for good they hold very dear to their heart you know like the people the things that they get attached to they might have a tendency to get attached or uh, to even like materialistic objects like they find it hard to throw away certain things to like even let go of certain people in their life uh, or certain events like this is someone that just tends to hold on to things and finds it hard to let go and try maybe new things as well um is like they create this bubble that feels comfortable and known for them okay now let's take a look at your tarot cards and see more details about this person we have the six of swords will you marry pal number 
two we have queen of pentacles and also ace of pentacles yeah we do see a lot of pentacles in your reading which are just matching the energies and we have the five of wands interesting we had the five of wands also in pile number one okay so i do sense you know in here with your first set of tarot cards because we're going to look at second one that you, your future spouse is someone that definitely just wants to live a peaceful life they care about stability we've made that clear that the uh, like finding stability in their life in their relationships in their financial situation in their career you know like at their job they prefer stability they prefer to feel a safe solid foundation underneath their feet in order to feel safe uh they are not the type of person who likes you know adventures that much or like to adventure too much into the unknown um new things could be like a bit daunting to them but i feel like once they're forced to do it they will do it but overall i'm sensing that they just want a stable safe committed relationship where they feel secure you know they are ready to commit they are ready to offer that you know in exchange as well uh with the queen of pentacles i'm sensing this is someone that is very generous you know at their heart they have a very stable financial situation i'm sensing as i say here like they might have like a really beautiful home like really comfortable lifestyle materialistically speaking like uh very safe and secure financially independent financially with the queen of pentacles they might already have like you know their career figure out like a home life figure out uh they're in a position to provide they're in a position to start you know a serious relationship even start a family uh and i feel like they're just waiting for that right person you know and once they're gonna meet you pal number two i see here that they're going to be you know offering you this uh you know this a chance this opportunity you know like to start uh this stable relationship together that's gonna lead to marriage so you're probably gonna take it's probably gonna take a while until they warm up to you i feel like here with the five of wands there's going to be or there is you know certain conflicts and arguments that they're dealing with maybe they had a relationship that felt really heated up you know a relationship that really it was a struggle it was just like a lot of arguments a lot of drama um and i see here with the six of swords that this person chose to like move towards something better so they left behind this five of wands or they're going to leave this five of wands behind they're going to go towards something better which is a big deal for them because as i said they are not dealing well with change but it's like they had enough and they're going to um you know move towards something like more peaceful like a life that they want and i feel like they're going to be on their own for quite a while when you're going to meet them you know they're going to be in that mental space of just minding their own business living their life focusing on what you know gives them that sense of security feeling good about uh spending you know their their life you know being at home um like having this financial stability and just enjoying themselves but waiting patiently for the right person to come into their life and i feel like it's just gonna take a while until they warm up to you or until they fully open up to you it's like they are a bit scared you know of not having to deal with drama into their life this is someone that really wants to have a chill peaceful lifestyle and relationship as well and i feel like here they will be the you know the one like asking you to marry them here with ace of pentacles this is an offer of a stability a stable love you know it offers stability with the pentacles so it, yeah i'm sensing that this person will be just like i want to marry you you are the person that i was looking for but it's gonna take a while like things are gonna s move quite slow in this connection you know until you actually get married this is this is what i'm sensing the pentacles represent more of a slow energy okay all right also could be you know this person just like having to deal with this drama like at their uh job 
you know and maybe this person is going to like leave this job for something better maybe better paid or start their own business you know like I'm, I'm seeing here that they are having like the resources necessary you know they they are very stable financially and they just want to make sure that they also find peace you know in their life um and this might be like a new start or business idea that they have as well could represent that right let's take a look at some other tarot cards for you pal number two so we have king of wands okay let's see what else we have for pal number two we have the hangman oh okay let me try again because there was none of the cards that flipped let's see what we have for you queen of swords okay so with the queen of swords i'm sensing that this person will be you know like in a position of like i want to cut off this drama like really be more assertive so um as i said they find it hard to let go but once they feel the need to like to protect their peace they're gonna do anything that uh they have in power to do so so i feel like they will be looking at this from a different perspective at this situation you know like this is someone that has more of a unique type of mindset you know like they they are the kind of person that uh they do come up with really creative ideas like really thinking outside of the box so i feel like this is something that has to do with their job they might be very creative they might do something creatively at their job and their brilliant mind is like really something that is you know coming in handy when it comes to maybe their business idea maybe they oh i feel like yeah this person like you know they, they weren't happy at their job you know like uh, or current at their job at the time when you're going to meet them and they're going to be at this new you know type of transition uh where they probably or like uh, they are going through this right now like they are just going to start this new business idea that they have and they're going to be like going on their own path uh and start this new business idea with a beautiful idea that they had like a very creative unique idea that's more outside of the box like that they had and they're going to start this business that's going to really like bring them a lot of money and i feel like it's already bringing them a lot of money they are in a position where they feel like they can live comfortably or they can switch up you know the job because they don't feel a you know uh, tied up to it financially so they have the possibility to do a switch up um and i see that they're th seeing things from a new perspective like why do i need to deal with this i also uh, need peace so s some sort of change in their mind you know like seeing things from a new lens and therefore changing something in their life here with the six of swords even though it's a bit uncomfortable for them but i do see her with the queen of swords that this is someone that if they you know if they need to they are they can be very straightforward sometimes even quite harsh if the situation requires it like they are very straightforward in their communication very honest as well but um yeah they will they will speak up their mind they will create boundaries they will cut through what's no longer serving them or what's you know bringing their energy down or bringing drama into their life they're not gonna let that ruin their peace uh I feel like this is something that they learned you know throughout the years like getting more mature and more experienced um that they don't need to allow other people or other things in their life to bring their pace down uh so yeah with the queen of swords i'm sensing that they're going to be very direct in their communication to you you know like they're going to be like okay look i'm this kind of person i really want this from a relationship uh laying out things very openly and very firmly um and they're going to also be like look this is who i am this is what i have to offer you this is what i can you know offer you uh emotionally you know financially like in a marriage so you're gonna feel like this person is always open maybe not so mm, romantic maybe or not so emotional you know like in their communication but they're going to be very practical that's for sure they care about the practical aspects they're more of a 
rational, logical person, um, but this is someone that cares about, you know, um, putting their point, you know, out there, like really making sure that they're honest, they're open, they, they say things for what they are, they're not pretending, they're not sugarcoating things, and they feel like the practical things are more important, you know, than just pretending it's nice while it's not. Um, also, with the King of Wands, though, there shows that there's going to be a lot of attraction between you and this person. So they are also someone who is very attractive, like physically, I'm sensing a lot of people like are feel drawn to them. Uh, this is someone who can be very passionate lover. Okay, like behind closed doors, I'm sensing that there is a different side of them, you know. So with you, they're going to be super passionate, super... Um, affectionate yeah like especially when it comes to like expressing their attraction being intimate um yeah like i feel like it's going to be that sort of magnetic chemistry between the two of you um that not many people can see about them let's take a look at your oracle cards now panel number two and see what else we have about who will you marry who is your future spouse Ooh, we have soulmates so this person that you're gonna marry pal number two is going to be your soulmate you're gonna feel a very strong connection with them there's going to be that soulmate connection like you've known them before or like you're gonna feel safe and secure within this connection uh also i feel that you you know there's gonna be a lot of loving energies uh you're gonna feel protected also i'm sensing by your future spouse um you're gonna feel secure in the connection in the marriage you're not gonna have to second guess it because you're gonna be so frank so open honest and also they're, they're very loyal i'm sensing and they they're going to show you commitment that they're going to be a reliable spouse like you can count on them at any time supportive we also have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so oh okay with this six of swords might be uh something else that's coming through like a different message maybe you're going to have to stay in separation from your future spouse for some time or for like times um you know uh, different times uh because we have uh, this time apart could be something regarding their job you know could be something that a new opportunity for a job coming in or for their career for their business coming in that will require them to travel overseas and that will put you to in a position where you're gonna have to like be in a little bit of separation maybe this five of wands is going to be some arguments regarding the situation you know like some conflicts that you're gonna have regarding this situation um that you're gonna have to like find a solution to but i feel like with a uh, open mind uh, with an open mind and with a diff looking at things from a different perspective will really help to sort things out and i do see that this is going to be like happening maybe within this marriage a bit of separation for a, t a little bit of time or just like multiple times you know throughout the marriage but I feel like it's more of a one-time thing and it has something to do with uh, an opportunity for a uh, business or a job. Oh, okay. So I feel like we have the relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. So yeah, for those of you, I feel like that it was resonating with the first, uh, you know, situation um, with the living a partner or like that they had to you know argue a lot that they were feeling very drowning in drama and like conflicts so i'm sensing that um yeah this person you know your future spouse will be in a time uh, at their life where they left a partner they left someone they were going through a separation you know here and they're moving towards something better and they're trying to grow and transform their life or also another message that is coming through you know for some of you again it might be that you and your future spouse will take a bit of a break at a time in your either relationship or the marriage okay so 
there's like obviously a lot of possibilities here with a general reading but i'm sensing like another message for some of you in panel number two is going to resonate that you and your future spouse will have some sort of break um there's going to be certain arguments in here something that is going to get really heated up like conflict and that's going to maybe make either you or this person like their future spouse to think about starting fresh here with this uh, six of swords like we have also the relationship is over no second chances grow and transform your life so like and also have separation so there's going to be like some sort of break where one of you is going to feel like they can do much better or like there is some there must be something better out there and i feel like um you know it, with that being said there's going to be some time apart you know between the two of you but i feel like you there's going to be one of you coming towards the other like with this offer of a new start uh where you can start things over and go back to that stability to the marriage uh, someone you know i feel like the person that's going to choose to leave will look at things from a different perspective and be like actually you know i'm like rethinking the situation and i want to actually start things over and to like focus on creating again that stability between the two of us i feel like you know there's going to be some there has to be like clear communication between the two of you like really being opening up to one another we have soulmate here so i feel like in the end you're going to you know find your way back to one another but there's going to be like a bit of a bumpy road in here all right now let's take a look at when you're going to meet your future spouse so it might be something regarding with miscommunication and you're going to have to learn how to communicate your differences um and how to communicate things clearly right because the queen of swords can represent that like really speaking up your mind we have in the near future you're going to meet your future spouse so in your future is like anything between like you know a couple weeks you know month to four months you know something like that we now take a look at their star sign in a number that might be relevant using the astrodices okay so we have leo as their star sign so fire star sign and we also have number seven Ooh, you know what's coming up to my mind is like with number seven could be you know like that sever seven year each when it comes to relationship like in psychology where usually couples around the mark of seven years break up or they have some sort of crisis like we can see here um and someone thinks that you know like it's no longer a point in keep going and someone wants a break but i feel like it's going to be like not a full separation for the two of you palamba two i feel like it's going to be uh like a break and the other person is going to maybe come back you know here this could also resonate that like the more we see the cards the more we can understand the message and the situation so i feel like after you know either you or, or your future spouse will decide to move on to take a break to like or break up you know and think that it's going to be forever then it's going to rethink their decision like with the hangman here think outside of the box of that box that they were placing themselves into like looking at things from a different perspective and come back you know and the other person will be a bit, sep a bit skeptical about receiving them back but eventually you know this offer of restarting a stable committed marriage is going to you know be accepted and you're gonna find your way back to one another with a soulmate okay like having the key to each other's heart so i feel like it is happy you know happy ending metaphorically speaking but yeah like, it, you know it's normal like every relationship every connection has its own journey now let's take a look at initials to see what we have for pal number two okay let me gather them all and let's flip them so we have o we have f we have a v 
A, N, I. Just a second, another message is like coming through right now. Um, I feel like for some of you, it might be, you know, that you and this person like were together in a relationship and you were about to get married but then things like maybe you're in your separation right now with this person and you're thinking that will you marry this person that you were together with like after having these arguments after having this conflict after one either you or this person leaving you know and the answer is like yes this person will like i see here an opportunity coming back you know for this relationship to keep going and uh like this person or you like will propose and it's going to be accepted like the marriage is gonna happen you know i feel like there's still attraction between the two of you there is like that soulmate connection still and i do see like here a lot of stability with these pentacles okay so a new beginning a new start uh for some of you um that is going to be something long term like it's gonna the stability and the peace is going to you know re-establish within the marriage or the connection okay so it's either like uh after a breakup or like after some sort of separation things will start from where it, it, they were left and like i see here growth and also like uh creating back the stability and one person will propose or like even though you were married already like the other person will come back or you will come back and uh you know the stability will be re-established within the marriage okay and it's gonna happen in the near future Okay, I just felt called to say that message as well. We have E, P, we have B as well, we have I twice, and we had it another time as well, so very strongly represented. S twice as well, C, E, d and your last one is an m okay so this is everything that i have for you my beautiful pal number two i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye Hello my beautiful pan number three, welcome to your reading for everyone who chose the green fluoride crystal. So let's take a look at who will you marry, who is your future spouse. So my dear, you were drawn to the Oak King, which is actually the hanged man in the original tarot. And I'm sensing with this card that uh, this person is someone that might really love like spending time in nature, someone who really values like time maybe on their own uh, to have time when they focus on, you know, maybe on practicing mindfulness being in nature maybe really helps with that to be processing their thoughts their feelings like this is a um a card of taking a break a card of recharging um of taking a little bit of still time also um i'm sensing with this one that this person might be very creative like has a very unique type of mind where they come up with like really unique solutions and ideas um someone who has that mind mind uh, type of outside of the box like um, standing out from the crowd with their, with their type of uh, unique mind space and ideas and solutions also uh this is someone that has like a very vivid in the world you know like uh maybe a person that is constantly like having a lot of you know thoughts and like trying to sort things out in their mind like having to always think about finding ways and solutions like uh, sometimes maybe a bit of um overthinker could be for some of you you know resonating but overall you know this person is just really like having an active mind you know like constantly like uh having to to think about things to you know sort things out like what i'm trying to say with this is like they always have to find maybe a solution to situations like quick to act you know based on certain uh situations like really having to find solutions like they're more of a person that doesn't stand out maybe unfinished 
business you know this type of energy i'm picking up also uh yeah this is someone that really looks at things from a different perspective so that's what i'm saying like this stand out from the crowd like everyone is looking at a situation from a, a point of view and then they come into the conversation and they're like but what if this is like a possibility and they just come up with this really unique outside of the box perspective that really puts other people into like uh, thinking as well and trying to work a different um, option as well like they always bring a, du a new option into the equation so I feel like overall this is an energy of a very creative unique person um, also with the thinking outside of the box energy it could be that maybe this is someone that you're gonna you know find in your life and be like uh, reaching a point where you have to take a really look at from a new perspective at this person to to also like get that new insight about them and see them from a new lens and start to actually get drawn to this person so maybe it's going to be that type of situation where you're going to see them like nothing as romantic interest but then you're going to see a different side of them or like look at them from like something is going to happen and you're going to see them from a completely new perspective and you're going to be like whoa actually i'm like so int like drawn and attracted to this person so that might be a possibility uh for some of you so might be a person that you already know for some of you in pile number three and you have no idea or intention of like romantic interest whatsoever regarding this person but then something is gonna happen and you you're gonna look at com at uh at this person from a completely new lens and you're gonna be like whoa i never actually look at so and so from this point of view and i'm actually starting to get interested right okay so let's take a look at the first set of tarot cards for you pal number three Ooh, we have ace of wands okay we have the fool really interesting we have four of cups and death card okay right hmm so it's really interesting because i did mention you know the last message that i was mentioning was that of like maybe knowing already this person and maybe this is someone that already like offered you some sort of confession of love or like expressing their feelings to you or like try to you know ask you out to go on a date and you were not paying attention to them or like not accepting their offer here like really ignoring these signals that this person is sending you because you might be either engaged into a different con uh, connection or you're just like simply not interested or you might be like having other aspects of your life that you're putting a priority to maybe love is not your number one priority at the moment or maybe in the past you know this happened and i do see like these uh offers in this you know um like opportunities that this person kept trying to to bring to you and you maybe really didn't pay attention or you're not interested okay but with that being said i feel like you know this person is quite insistent or like persistent in pursuing you or something will happen and i feel like here with the death card this whole connection will go through some sort of transformation because the death represents like a huge huge transformation so a big transformation will happen in this connection and you're gonna start seeing this person from a new perspective and be like hmm i never seen so and so from this type uh, of lens from this point of view and actually starting to get really really attracted to them i see here with this ace of wands so again it could be a person that you already met but for some of you in number three is going to be a person that you're going to meet and they're going to keep uh, pursuing you and you're not going to be interested and uh, therefore you know it's going to go take a while and then this transformation will happen okay so depending on how this resonates with you if you haven't met this person yet uh it might be someone along uh coming their way so with the ace of wands i say that eventually you you will have this like new wave of passion and attraction feeling for this person the ace represents a new start a new beginning and i do see here like this person constantly like coming in in pursuing you or like not necessarily constantly but like being there you know and like being there for you to to just say yes and offering you this opportunity of a new love but i see here like a lot of passion and attraction that's going to happen so like it's going to be that 
boom new wave of strong attraction of chemistry that magnetic irresistible type of attraction that you're gonna feel for this person okay and then i see here the start of a new chapter happening with the fool so you're going to eventually say yes to this person okay i do see two cards here especially with the transformation so it's more like three cards of a new beginning with this person uh, okay that might be just like constantly uh you know asking you out or like being there for you and asking you multiple times to be with them but then it's going to be this transformation and seeing them from a new perspective something will happen right <laughs> and with the full i do see you know like when it comes to more about their personality i see that this is a very carefree person someone who is like ready to embrace change ready to experience new things because of this like creative as i say like more uh you know eager to expand you know i see like they're very eager to expand to learn to absorb you know like new things new experiences to expand even their even their vision you know their um their perspectives this full like it can represent their ability to uh you know embrace change embrace new things to try their willingness to try new things like they are ready to embark on a new adventure at any time like uh i see that they're very carefree and not attached to a specific a place a specific thing in their life and they're like a very free spirit person okay and with the ace of wands again i see that passionate energy about them so they are very creative they put in a lot of passion in whatever they do uh they're a very passionate lover as well like uh, being intimate with them is like very fiery very sparkle uh, like sparkly you know uh you know what i mean and yeah um now let's take a look at your second set of tarot cards and see what else we have about this person your future spouse we have prince of discs which is the knight of pentacles and we also have the temperance card hmm really interesting and let me gather uh, just a new another card for panel number three. Oh, we got two let me just arrange the cards really quickly Ooh, we have prince of cups which is the knight of cups and the three of cups so i feel like panel number three uh with the three of cups this might be a person again like that energy that might be part of your a friends group like someone you know already or a person that you know is like a part of your group or like they know you and they're just like some sort of a secret admirer like um trying to ask you out or like trying to like show you that they have feelings for you but they feel like you not seeing them or not paying attention to them because they feel like they're in the shadow summer and you're like here chatting with like other people busy with something else but yeah i feel like they're a very patient person with a temperance card they're really like patient and waiting uh for you to finally take a look at them to finally say yes to accept their offer and this person is not giving up to their uh, intention to pursuing you we have these two cards like two knights which knights usually represent an offer coming for you and we have the perfect knights when it comes to a uh, love reading the knight of pentacles and the knight of cups so this shows that they're very romantic a person that's very very romantic also very empathic very sensitive very understanding um caring affectionate okay and also here with the knight of pentacles this person is also ready to commit they're offering you not this not only an opportunity of love of passionate love they have a lot of passion for you a lot of attraction a lot of feelings and affection and sweet and romantic towards you but also ready to commit ready to um have a stable marriage i feel like this also is proposal like both of these cards can represent proposal so maybe like they're going to ask you out like uh embark on this new adventure together have fun you know like ha have really like uh, fun enjoying you know this passion and this chemistry between the two of you and then i feel like really this person will uh, be the one that's gonna take action towards it like propose to you ask you to marry them because we have this um offer of stability okay long-term commitment okay 
so yeah i feel like overall you're gonna feel like this person is a very good listener someone who is there for you someone who is very affectionate towards you spoils you with romantic gestures and maybe compliments and like showering you with you know sweet gestures and words now let's take a look at uh some oracle cards for you panel number three and see what else we have Ooh, flexible so might be a water star sign you know okay um i feel like with flexible this person is really able to you know embody different mindsets to to embrace change to you know be able to and have this capacity to to be flexible in the face of different situations when it requires them to as i said like they're very creative they have this open mind like very open-minded person right like they uh can embrace change or different opinions or different situations with open arms they're not a, like a strict person that's struggling with change or opening up this is someone who's very open very free okay free spirit free mind uh they're like accepting new uh experiences in their life but also new opinions like they are very accepting you know of others like very empathic and also accepting of new intentions or new ideas and they're like okay we can do it this way or okay i can do that i can be like doing this more uh, a little bit your way this is what i'm picking up with flexible okay and also with the temperance card also shows like this is someone who's very intuitive okay someone who is very in tune with their feelings with their emotions they're very stable emotionally and has a very uh, like strong emotional intelligence as well and they're able to like keep their peace and still be like emotionally stable enough to you know um enough to be able to like also provide for others this sort of like openness and to create a space that's flexible you know like it's not like a wall you know when i'm thinking about this person it's not like hitting a wall where it's like really hard to crack open it's like a person that you can communicate to you can express you know your your ideas and your things and present new opportunities and this person is not going to be like straight no they're going to consider options they're going to consider your opinions like really put themselves in your own shoes and try to work things out also within the marriage i'm sensing that they're going to be like trying to you know fit into different circumstances in order to make things work um i feel like i i really hope i i made sense with that let's take a look at another oracle card we have romantic feelings yeah so again the word romantic a romantic person in their nature we have your feelings are real and worth exploring so this person has real feelings for you they really want to be exploring this connection to explore this attraction this passion these uh you know romantic feelings that they have for you uh and they're they're pursuing you you know also they're going to want to get married to you they're going to propose uh because i feel like what you will have is like something really unique and strong and special now let's take a look at another oracle card before we see when you're gonna meet your future spouse so let's see for panel number three what else we have about who will you marry Okay, we have karmic relationship, flitting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Okay, so with the transformation card here, might be that you're already going to be engaged with this connection, okay? And you might be going through a karmic relationship, and then I feel like you're going to, uh, either you or this person will let go of someone and you know focus on this connection. We have a lot of cards of a new beginning. We have a card of like enlightenment we have a card of like opening up your mind in the uh like in seeing someone else through a different lens so i do see here like you know one of you really um letting go of a connection that was just like bringing nothing of value and like creating a lot of turmoil and going through this big transformation of seeing this other person through different lens and be like whoa i i actually can let go of that and like start loving this person exploring this romantic feelings say yes to this new opportunity say yes to this new attraction embrace change and it's gonna it's going to lead to something really really good 
Okay, pile number three. Let's pick up a card and see when are you gonna meet your future spouse. And it was very quick um, message. We have a year from now. Okay, so yeah, a year from now, you're gonna meet your future spouse. Very clear message. And now let's see with the astrocytes uh, a number that might be relevant and their star sign. Okay, so we have a uh, Virgo energy, so um, Earth energy, star sign. Um, also, we have number 10. So 10 represents like fulfillment, a completion, you know, like um, sensing that this person in this marriage will feel like finally finding that person that you were looking for, like feeling accomplished, feeling happy okay uh virgo really makes sense to uh, this energy of like looking at things from a solution oriented point of view like always trying to find a solution or always trying to look at ways to maybe improve or to think things through like always processing you know things and filtering them through their, their mind like virgos are really big thinkers um okay now let's take a look at their star signs for you, plan number three. Let's see what we have for you. Plan number three. I feel like I um, want to pick up a few more. Okay, that should be good. Let's gather them all and see what we have. We have L. We have also N, P, we have E twice actually, so strongly represented. We have more of a odd one Q. We have I, I, T, E. N S A O A Y and your last one is another I. It's a very strongly represented I here three times. All right, so this is everything that I have for you, my beautiful pal number three. I really hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.